although I said I would uh, speak about Right Honorable Olanya later, when the time comes for his body to be here. But yesterday, when I met the members of parliament from Lango, Achori, and West Nile, they told me something that I had noticed myself. And this was that the late Olanya had followed the NRM line. He, he was originally in UPC, but he came over to the NRM after, after carefully assessing. And by listening carefully to the message of the NRM, he went down and actually succeeded in uniting our people in northern Uganda, in uh, th those three areas, Lango, Achori, West Nile. The NRM had, of course, been trying to unite them, but it seems the Leto Line had done it even more deeply than we had, we had, uh, we had done before. This was because of the wrong politics. In 1971, the soldiers from West Nile massacred the soldiers from uh, Achori and Lango. Confusion, killings, incredible killings. Then in 1979, when we were coming, we had struggled with the UPC people who wanted revenge, to revenge on the on, on the Western Islands. And actually they did. When the Tanzanians withdrew, they attacked the villages in Western Ireland. Western Ireland had to, had to go into exile. The 500,000 Western Ireland went into exile. They only came back when NRM came and called them back. Then 1985, the Achori group, Okero and Basilio, turned against the Lango group, the one of Mzeyobote uh, and, uh, and uh, Ogore and others. Of course, for us, we reject the sectarianism. So when we came, we ignored all this and we told them to, 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 to if, if, if you are to blame, you blame the mistake maker, the misleader. You don't blame the misled. So we never blamed the people of, of course in 1966, there had been a conflict between, between what they were calling the Northerners and the, 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 the Bantu, the Southerners. Northerners led by Obote, Onama, and, uh, and others, and then these Southerners led by Mutesa and, uh, and Ivi Injira and, uh, uh, and others. That's how they had torn our country apart. Until NRM came and rejected all this. So I really want to salute Olanya, because I, I heard him speaking many times about this saying that why has NRM been able to stay in, in government for, he would, he would recount. We have had so, we had so many presidents in so many years. We have now had one president for all this time and one, 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 one political force. Why? There must be a reason. I, I used to hear him giving that, that analysis. And apparently, it had good effect, especially when he became vice chairman of the NRM in northern Uganda. And I could see these people were, especially in his last trip, when he went around, the, the, it seemed the people were more united. The, certainly the members of parliament looked more united. So that's why they were saying we should ring fence that the position of the of deputy speaker for 
for, 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 the northern, for that area. But when we came in our focus here, the, the, we were, were able to see that it was not, it was not correct to ring fence this position because it was different from Iyala, because they were quoting the example of Iyala. Uh, Iyala is, is, is a, a number of positions. This is one, these are only two positions. So you cannot easily ring fence them without creating the new, new mistakes. But I want to salute Olanya for this unity among our people in that area. But don't look at yourselves again as Acholi, Lango, uh, Western Isle. Look at yourself as Ugandans. Go beyond that uh, regionalism and look at yourself as Ugandans and as Africans. That's how the NRM has succeeded.